In our today video we are going to share with you a great story from Branson but if you are new here just consider subscribe to receive notifications whenever we create or publish a new video also it's our hope that you're going to enjoy this awesome story from great entrepreneur in the world without farther delay let's get into it. Entrepreneur Richard Branson launched Virgin Records in 1973. Today Virgin Group holds more than 200 companies in more than 30 countries. Synopsis Born on July 18, 1950, in Surrey, England, Richard Branson struggled in school and dropped out at age 16, a decision that ultimately led to the creation of Virgin Records. His entrepreneurial projects started in the music industry and expanded into other sectors making Branson a billionaire. His Virgin Group holds more than 200 companies, including the recent Virgin Galactic, a space tourism company. Branton is also known for his adventurous spirit and sporting achievements, including crossing oceans in a hot air balloon. Early Life Richard Charles Nicholas Branson was born on July 18, 1950, in Surrey, England. His father, Edward James Branson, worked as a barrister. His mother, Eve Branson, was employed as a flight attendant. Richard, who struggled with dyslexia, had a hard time with educational institutions. He nearly failed out of the all-boys Skatecliff School, which he attended until the age of 13. He then transferred to Stowe School, a boarding school in Stowe, Buckinghamshire, England. Still struggling, Branson dropped out at the age of 16 to start a youth culture magazine called Student. The publication, run by Students, for Students, sold $8,000 worth of advertising in its first edition which was launched in 1966. The first run of 50,000 copies was disseminated for free, after Branson covered the costs with advertising. By 1969, Branson was living in a London commune, surrounded by the British music and drug scene. It was during this time that Branson had the idea to begin a mail-order record company called Virgin to help fund his magazine efforts. The company performed modestly, but made Branson enough that he was able to expand his business venture, adding a record shop in Oxford Street, London. With the success of the record shop, the high school dropout was able to build a recording studio in 1972 in Oxfordshire, England. Virgin Records His first artist on the Virgin Records label, Mike Oldfield, recorded his single Tubular Bells in 1973 with the help of Branson's team. The song was an instant smash staying on the UK charts for 247 weeks. Using the momentum of Oldfield's success, Branson then signed other aspiring musical groups to label, including the Sex Pistols. Artists such as The Culture Club, The Rolling Stones, and Genesis would follow, helping to make Virgin Music one of the top six record companies in the world. Business Failure Businesses are like buses, there is always one after the other says the entrepreneur, who only has had 14 failed businesses in over 100. They are. Student. Richard Branson left school at the age of 16 to launch a magazine for students. He says that he didn't like the way he was taught and he was at that stage of his life where he thought he could change the world. He convinced himself that launching a nationwide magazine for students was the way to go, however things don't always go according to planned. At the same time, he decided to launch a correspondence record-selling business, which was announced on the student pages. This business was going so well that Branson left the magazine behind and launched his own record label, Virgin, in 1972. Virgin Drinks Virgin Cola is his most famous failure and also his favorite, as he has learned a lot from it. In fact, none of the Virgin Drinks launches were very successful. Virgin Cola was launched in 1994 and its bottle was inspired by Pamela Anderson's curse, but it was a disaster. I'll never make the mistake of thinking that big companies are sleeping again, he said later on. Virgin Student In 2000, Branson launched a sort of Facebook that the world was not ready for yet. It was still not called a social network, but it was the same idea. Some say that it had hundred thousands of members, but numbers dropped in 2005, probably because of MySpace which appeared that year. Virgin Brides He entered the wedding dress business in 1996 with style, he shaved and wore a weeding dress, 
however was not successful in that hyper-competitive market. He left this business at the end of 2007. Virgin Vi. At the end of the 90s, Branson was inspired to continue working in a feminine market, so in 1997 he tried cosmetics. The products were sold online, at Virgin stores and private parties. He lost money with this idea and decided to abandon it in 2009. Virgin Clothing. In 1998 he appeared in the market with a clothing, shoe and accessory line for both men and women. He went big by hiring Saatchi and Saatchi for advertisement campaigns, but left the business two years later. Virgin Cars. After airplanes, why not dry cars? In 2000, Branson ventured in the online car sale business and wanted to sell 24,000 cars in the first year. Things did not go according to planned as in three years he had only sold 12,000. The website was terminated in 2005. Virgin Wear. He did not let the failure in the clothing business knock him down, since in 2003 he tried to venture in the lingerie business. It started well, starting from only selling online to opening 30 stores, between 2003 and 2004. However, in 2005, business started to grow lean. In order to close all shops there was a clearance sale of over 35,000 lingerie pieces. Virgin Megastar. They were a success in 1992, when they opened, but did not stand up against the digital music market, having the last store close in 2009. It was a hard and postponed decision, as Branson finally recognized, the business was losing a lot of money. We did not shut down fast because I resisted. I did not want to lose our Times Square and Oxford Street shops, as they were very important for brand recognition and they were our link to the past. However, he had no choice. Virgin Flowers. It is not listed as a company on the Virgin Group official company list, but Business Insider guarantees that the company did exist at one point. There is no sign of Branson having had worked in the flower business. Virgin Pulse and Virgin Digital. These were to compete against iPod and iTunes, respectively, but did not work. Branson admitted, later on, that his projects were already out of date before reaching the market, so much that they only lasted a year. Virgin Express and Virgin Charter. The first one was to compete with EasyJet, but never fulfilled its goal and only lasted 10 years, having been closed down in 2006. Virgin Charter was launched in 2007 to make private jets profitable. It only lasted a year. Business Expansion Branson expanded his entrepreneurial efforts yet again, this time to include the travel company The Voyager Group in 1980, the airline Virgin Atlantic in 1984, and a series of Virgin megastars. But Branson's success was not always predictable. By 1992, Virgin was suddenly struggling to stay financially afloat. The company was sold later that year to Thorn Emmy for $1 billion. Branson was crushed by the loss, reportedly crying after the contract was signed, but remained determined to stay in the music business. In 1993, he founded the station Virgin Radio, and several years later he started a second record company, V2. Founded in 1996, V2 now includes artists such as Powderfinger and Tom Jones. Branson's Virgin Group now holds more than 200 companies in more than 30 countries, including the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, Canada, Asia, Europe, and South Africa. He has expanded his businesses to include a train company, a luxury game preserve, a mobile phone company and a space tourism company, Virgin Galactic. Branton is also known for his sporting achievements, notably the record-breaking Atlantic crossing in Virgin Atlantic Challenger 2 in 1986, and the first crossing by hot air balloon of the Atlantic, 1987, and Pacific, 1991. He was knighted in 1999 for his contribution to entrepreneurship, and in 2009, he landed at number 261 on Forbes World Billionaires list with his $2.5 billion in self-made fortune, which includes two private islands. Let me take this opportunity to thank you for keep supporting my channel. Also it's my hope that you like this content so don't forget to subscribe, share and like, for more series of content. Just keep it up, never give up on your dreams, don't forget to pray every day.
because God is always coming, keep it up, cheers, see you on the next video, subscribe now if you like the video.